when the little ones are born so early, they're going to spend an awfully long time in neonatal, but they need a lot of extra support once they uh, come out of hospital. And that's where Tiny Life really walks that, uh, takes them by the hand and walks that journey with them. Premature babies can arrive as early as 24 weeks, weighing as little as one pound. So that's just half a bag of sugar. Really very fragile, very sick babies. And and of course, very stressed parents because they haven't expected that, um, you know, this baby's arriving at 24 weeks. Some of those families, it's 100 days before they get to hold their baby. We've had a an organisational review and it was pointed out very clearly that digital was an area that we needed to strengthen. My background is digital. I came from an agency and I specialised in digital. So I think people are now realising that they need to have somebody in a role to help them grow their business in a digital way. Catherine was like our guardian angel. She just came out, had all the answers. It was very calm and um, yes, that's not a problem and this is how we do it. And actually what I asked Catherine to do was take a look at our social media. One of the, the things we were doing for World Prematurity Day was um, a Twitter chat. And I said to Catherine, oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start with this. What does it actually even mean? So Catherine went away off and had a wee look to see what well, she could find out because it was new to her as well. So mm -hmm. I suppose that's the beauty of these things that we both learned from it. Danske Bank has quite a strong ethos whenever it comes to volunteering. They really encourage their staff to get involved in the community, um, which is great. A story went up and because I was new to the bank, I thought I'd get involved. So I contacted Angela. She pointed me in the direction of the skills match. The digital side of things is something that I know I'm comfortable with. I wanted just to see if there was anything in that space where I could help out. And I saw Tiny Life's response. I think the whole pandemic has put a lot of things in perspective. And I suppose it's shown that your community is quite small. Helping people out at a time of need can go quite a long way. The whole thing has changed the way I've thought about things. And if I can do a little bit to help somebody else out, why wouldn't I? We've had conversations internally. Everyone's quite open in terms of sharing how they've helped out or volunteered for an organisation. And in terms of wider with my family and things like that, just having conversations about even little things that you can do, you know, just sort of help out or give back. Many of our families, because they haven't been able to come together, have really needed support around confidence and our family support officers are able to to dial in or video in with that family but it is just about giving advice at this stage and um, supporting them along the journey and you know let's face it everybody's on their phone now you know so that's the first point of contact is let's go digital see what mr google has to say taking an hour out of your day to to help out valerie it's given her a few tools that she has appreciated and it's in the grand scheme of things, when you're busy and you're trying to get your work done, you maybe don't think about the impact that actually just giving somebody else a hand can have. For something that's relatively straightforward for me to do, it can actually help somebody else out and it can make things a lot easier for somebody else. Happy to help in any way that I can. People maybe are a bit reticent to volunteer because they think it's going to be all consuming. There's too much time involved and all the rest of it. And I think that, you know, that's for the, the volunteer and the and the company to um to iron that out i said from the very outset outset it's not going to be onerous what we wanted to look more professional have our posts more clear more succinct more focused and catherine has helped us do all of them catherine has saved us time she's saved us money she's given me new skills which are fantastic and i can pass on to my staff and you know just having a catherine there has made life easy i would highly recommend it that companies give up their time and that charities avail of those resources that are out there. You go into something and if you might think it's one-sided that you're helping a business out, but you actually never know. The information that I've got from Valerie as well has been really, really beneficial.